Hi, I'm Tamara with TamaraBlossom.com. And my name is Ashao. And I am here today to interview Ashao because we he is celebrating nine months of... Working out. And six months of... Meditating every day. Yeah, working out like almost every day, right? You yeah. have a schedule and meditating almost every day. So this is huge, right? Because how many of you ha- have wanted to exercise, wanted to meditate, and you do it for a week or two, and then it stops, right? And um, I can relate with that in other things. Movement I've got down, thankfully, because I found something that works for me, and that's a a separate video. But today I really want to focus on a shout because he just celebrated um, literally that he's been going nonstop for nine months of working out nonstop and six months of meditating, not missing a single day. So what's the secret? Let's turn the attention over. Ashao, how, um, let's see, there's probably so much I could ask you, but like in simple words, whoo, big beetle, he looks up. How would you say, what was your secret to continuing um, the, the habit of working out and meditating every day? Mm, good question, good question. So there's a few different things that come into play. One of them is that I started simple. So I didn't go out and start doing crazy complex workouts right off the bat. And that's actually been a fail- failure for me in the past as I tried doing the perfect workout or the perfect meditation routine or the starting the perfect business. And, I, and I, my perfectionism, I have a tendency towards trying to do things perfectly the first time. And that has always made things much more difficult for me and like you were saying a lot of people have difficulty starting a routine and sticking to it and that was me I tried to have a workout routine I've tried several times and failed Mm -hmm. and there was too much friction to starting Mm -hmm. so what does that mean too much too much friction because I I, I mean mm -hmm. yeah so the most difficult part of any activity is starting up because if you think of Luton's first law things that are stationary tend to stay stationary Mm -hmm. so it's the same thing with us if I'm laying in bed and I'm and I'm supposed to get up and do a workout I'm gonna tend to want to stay in bed I'm not gonna want to go do something same thing if I want to do the dishes I'm like probably gonna have to exert some initial energy to do the dishes so reducing the friction to starting is making as many choices as possible in advance to reduce the first initial movement. So I'll give you an example of what I did with my workouts. So like I said, I started simple. I just had, I started off working out and I just had five movements that I was doing. Mm -hmm. So first of all, in my my brain already, it's it's pretty simple. Maybe that's not simple for everyone, but whatever to you is simple, you want to start with that. And I also started off by laying down. So when I'm laying down in bed, I can just tell myself, all you have to do is get out of bed and lay down in the other room. So, so it makes it sound easy. Yeah, it makes like, it feel... Oh, I don't have to go do jumping jacks. I'm yeah. I'm just going to go lay down. Yeah, and so I, I also intentionally chose to do body weight movements so that I can do them at home. And I can do them anywhere, like here in Costa Rica when we're traveling, I won't mess up my routine because I can do them anywhere mm. and I don't need to go to a gym. Mm-hmm. So that's an, another barrier that I would need mm-hmm. to hurdle over to start, mm-hmm. right? And it's just another, I could just be like, oh, I don't want to go good and stuck in traffic today, right? So mm-hmm. it's one less thing to worry about. I want to say, I remember uh, as an observer of you, because we live together, um, I would always see you prepare um, your, your workout clothes the night before. Mm-hmm. And yeah. I'd never seen that before. I'd never done that before. So why is that? Mm-hmm. So that's using the same principle. And what it is is that I would prepare everything in advance. I'd have my workout mat laid out. I'd have my, my workout shorts right in the way. So when I get out of the room, I'd, my shorts would be there and I'd grab them on my way out. And my water would be right there, also on my path towards the living room, so that I don't have to think about it. I don't have to, like, get up and think, 
oh, where's my water? And like, waste time. I set it all the night before so that it's very easy for me to get up and just dong, dong, dong. I'm starting. Great. Yeah. So this is super cool. So what can we tell people who want to uh, stick to a workout routine? Let's just focus on the workout right now. Um, Cause you know, once you get one routine down and you stick to it, I think then it's maybe easier mm -hmm. to start another habit. Mm -hmm. um, so how can you just make it boil it down again and remind people what, how can they, um, what can they take away with them from this video? How can they start to implement an exercise mm -hmm. routine every day into their life? Mm -hmm. Well, one thing that I didn't mention that I think is very important is to have a specific time for it. So me, it's always first thing in the morning. Mm -hmm. And so that's something that's called habit stacking, is that I always wake up in the morning. It's a habit. It's a habit that I have no choice, but it's a habit. And so as soon as that habit ends, mm -hmm. then the next thing is I know I do my workout. But maybe it's for someone else. It's uh, after work, they're on their way home, they go and they stop at a gym. Mm -hmm. And if that feels easy to them, that it's, it's right on the way, then that would be perfect. It would be not too much friction and it also has a set time. And you want to stick to that time all the time mm -hmm. because that will create the routine where you have mm -hmm. a cue oh, I'm coming back from work, mm -hmm. or oh, I woke up, or oh, I'm going to bed, mm -hmm. and then you know, workout time. Mm -hmm. So you never miss a day because it's now popping up automatically. Mm -hmm. So number yeah. one, specific time? Specific time. Number two, prepare yourself in advance. Mm -hmm. So if you can, um, grab all your stuff. If you're doing it in the morning, put it all near your bed. Uh, like your water bottle, fill it up the night before, um, grab your... Like what I used to do, which back when I was running more often, is I would have my running shoes and my shorts and my, and my shirt all on my nightstand beside my bed. So as soon as I get up out of bed, I put my shoes on, and then I put my shirt on, and then I was in my workout clothes, and I, I was much more inclined to, mm -hmm. go, to go running. Mm -hmm. And so that's another thing you can do, is you could start your routine out with something really simple. Like for me... I would, I'm, I tell myself, all I need to do is go to the other room and lay down. Mm -hmm. I actually give myself permission to not do my workout. Okay. So that there's yeah. just like a small commitment there. And you could, you could do it differently. You could be like, all I need to do is put my workout, put my running shoes on. Mm -hmm. So the number two was prepare in advance. Prepare in advance. Whatever you can. And then number three was make it an easy beginning. Yeah. If you can. Yeah. And those, those two are kind of, kind of related. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah make the first initial commitment very small. Mm -hmm. And that's how I start my workouts too, is most of the time I just get on the floor and I roll around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like you, you say, like, I don't even know if I'm going to do a full knee class today. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to roll on the ground. Mm -hmm. And you start the ball rolling and you get into the mood and then you do the whole class, mm -hmm. right? Same thing with me. I go and I lay down in the other room and I'm like, well, I'm already here. I got my workout shorts on. I might as well do a little bit of movement. Sometimes I don't even commit to doing a whole workout. I'm just like, I'll just move a little bit and I get in the mood. Once you start moving, you want to keep moving. Yeah, <laughs> when, like Newton's law, you know, things in motion tend to stay in motion, mm -hmm. right? Awesome. Yeah. So was there anything? So we said the time, prepare yourself in advance, make it as easy as possible. I would say those are three good tips to start mm -hmm. with. So always... Make it fun. If you can. Yeah. Yeah. I put on music. Yeah. He puts on audiobooks. That's, yeah, that's, uh, that's uh, habit stacking, <laughs> leveraging my time, yeah. listening to audiobooks while I work yeah. out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So to recap those three steps, one, stack it on to another habit. So either that's maybe it's a time of day, 2 p.m., the clock, you know, you have an alarm goes off and you do it at 2 p.m. Or even better, you're coming back from work or you're waking up. You're going to sleep. Something that you already do every day, you do it at the beginning or the end of that activity. So, that's, so now you're leveraging your other habit that's already well established. Mm -hmm. Number two is prepare yourself in advance. So if you can, gather whatever you can prepare yourself. Like if you're going to be doing a meditation, then maybe you want to set up your meditation space the night before. Uh, you can, you know, I listen to audio meditations so I can even have my my earbuds there and so that you know I just don't have, really have to think about it and number three is make the initial step a small commitment mm -hmm. so maybe it's just all I need to do is fill up my glass of water at the gym 
and I don't actually need to do the whole workout. I just need to get there and fill up my glass of water. Mm-hmm. That, that's your commitment. You, if, you could go home after that, but as long as you do that. And that really does work because it works for me too. Like when I don't feel like I'm going to do much movement in the, in the morning, because um, he works out in the morning and then I work out, um, it's often just, well, I'll move for t- five, ten minutes at least. Mm-hmm. I just want to open up my joints, open up my body. So mm-hmm. then I get on the floor and I roll around, do some like yoga y dance stuff, and then I'm like, oh, I think I can do another song. Oh yeah, I think I can do another song, and then it just keeps going and going and going until I complete a whole hour or an hour and a half. So it really, it really does work. That sort of minor commitment. I most days will always do some kind of movement because I feel like we need to move every day. It's just we're a human body it's not like one day you wake up and like i'm not human today i don't need to move so mm-hmm. do move every day even if it's just rolling your spine mm-hmm. or m- wiggling yourself around stretching your body up just do move at some point mm-hmm. during the day let your head hang down do some forward bend and that actually squatting is great that is ties into i think maybe one of our other tips which was make it simple yeah so if you think of this as a fourth tip maybe make it really <laughs> easy like a no-brainer so if your commitment is i just need to do a spinal roll at least once a day and Mm. you stick to that you do not ever miss a day of a spinal roll it's so easy you can't say no right you just do a spinal roll Mm -hmm. and you're done right it's so easy you can't say no and if you stick to that you're gonna have a habit now that you can later improve upon mm-hmm. and now i'm gonna do a spinal roll and a exactly squat <laughs> and and i cannot overemphasize how powerful that is to establish a simple <laughs> habit and then after some time you're just naturally gonna want to do more that's great so i hope you got that from this video and i would say that's one of the biggest takeaways is just start with one movement if you've had such trouble sticking to movement and then you don't do anything just do mm-hmm. at least one movement, like, oh, like maybe it's the spinal roll, maybe it's the squat, maybe it's a uh, stretch back and forward bend and roll back up, whatever it is. I'm going to do something and then see if you can just make it longer as you start. Okay, what else can mm-hmm. I do now? Oh, maybe I'll sway my spine a little bit. Oh, maybe I'll put on a song and have a dance party. Whatever. Yeah. But yeah, just starting somewhere is key. Starting with what, what you've got. Mm-hmm. Just get started. Right, that's mm-hmm. the most difficult part, is just getting started, so make it so easy on yourself that you can't say no. Ah, yes, awesome, because movement is important, and I want us all to feel good and, and vibrating with life force energy. So, mm-hmm. Thank you so much, Asha, yeah. for your input. You have so much knowledge and experience in implementing new habits into your life. It's been mm-hmm. awesome watching you. Thanks. And... With that, comment below. You guys, like, let us know about your journeys with exercise, with mm-hmm. meditation, with, with your habits, how you what, guys implement it. Maybe we missed some stuff. Yeah, so. what works for you? Like, let us know. And, and then everybody can help each other out, right? In the comment section, you might get a tip from somebody else that we didn't mention. Mm-hmm. So th- share that with, with the community. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's all feel good together. Yeah, and if you want to hear more of these videos, make sure to subscribe to the channel because there's a lot more awesome videos coming this way. Thank you so much for joining us today and we'll see you next time. We'll see you next video.